Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm here with my lovely wife. Gloria George. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, it is sweet when you marry someone who will serve God with, with you. And whose name is, is in, in the, the book, book of life. <laughs> 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 Praise God. I love that if, if, if your name is not in the book of life, we can't even have children whose names are in the book of life. You can't, yeah, the man cannot be blessed. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can we call for that daily bread? Amen. We will not get distracted amen, today. Amen, amen, Can we call for amen. that daily bread? Are you Praise ready? God. Yes. Release your faith right now. Say, Father, Father, I receive, I receive my daily bread, my daily bread right now, right now, in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Now, everything we've been sharing with you, the Lord, to, uh, the month is coming to an end mm -hmm. so fast. Mm -hmm. Come on, mm -hmm. how many episodes have we done? We were just like three. <laughs> and we have to, we have to fast forward because God's goodness has been oh, no. completely you see, amazing. We, we, we're telling you ten years journey, and we're trying to compress. Now we just, we just, we, we just started from before ten years. Yeah, of course, because yeah. that's very important. Yeah. And we're trying to show that the word of God was okay. what was yeah. guiding us yeah. each step yeah. of the way. Yeah. And remember, if your life is not patterned by God's word, where is the security in your life? We don't have doubts about how our children are going to turn out. Mm -hmm. We don't. Now, you know, as, as you raise children, there are natural childish Challenges. things that yes. children will do. So we, we, things come up, we see all those things, but our mind is not on what they are doing today mm. our par as parents we play, we'll play our, our role yes. we'll be prudent we'll yes. be, we'll be we'll diligent we'll be diligent in doing what in, god says yeah we because we them. know that mm. these children are god's property yes we know our only plants yeah. we know yeah but then we are also conscious that by our work with god and relationship with god mm even they don't have a choice mm -hmm. yes they don't have a choice mm. things you read in the bible mm. like like ah, ah you know how you're reading the bible and then i realized something jacob now we have you have abraham who walked with god mm. isaac who walked with god then you have jacob jacob seemed like the stubborn guy mm. the smart fast guy who i mean who just want to you know stuff like that but he, when he left home, now his father had told him, go to your uncle Laban's house. Mm -hmm. On his way, mm -hmm. God, God met, met him. Yeah. And God says, I am the God of your father. That means that was the first time he was having an encounter one -on -one with God. Encounter. I, I saw that. I said, hold on. Yeah, I know the father had blessed him. Mm. But hey, God Himself visited Him. the boy yes. outside his, the, father's, his house. father's house on the yeah, road. Wait. Now he was going to face life. Mm. You know, I began to think about my life. Like it's the same thing that God did for me. Now I was raised up with a strong faith background. My dad, my mom, they loved the Lord. I mean, they were, they are people, you, if you know them, you know God. You know what I mean by that? You can't define their life without God in it. And yeah, I've, I've seen miracles. I've seen, I've seen things happen. Mm. But it was when I finally left home. Yeah. And I went to the university. Mm. I'll never forget when I was going to school, my dad told me, look, I'm going to give you a gift. I thought my dad wanted to give me something. <laughs> you know? And then I was waiting to see the gift he wanted to give to me. You know what is it? <laughs> he said, open your Bible. I, I, I <laughs> you know? He said, I open your Bible. It. I said, my Bible. <laughs> <laughs> this man told me I, I want to give you a gift. <laughs> he said, Open your Bible. I opened my Bible. To where? He said, Psalm 91. Mm -hmm. 
okay, I open so it says start reading. And I read from verse one to the end. It said read it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so like daddy. I read from verse 1 to the end. He said, This is my gift to you mm-hmm. as you are going exactly. away from the house. Mm-hmm. What kind of gift is <laughs> it? Did you know? I got to school. For some reason, those words Did kept ringing in my heart. Mm. It kept ringing in my heart. Now, I will never forget when I think there was a time I had to, I actually went and I framed those words. Now, people who were my um, roommates in school would have seen that. Mm. I went, got an artist to frame, to write this thing uh, with this, the, the artistic writing, mm. to write the whole chapter out write it out oh, yeah. and then i framed it in a glass i bought this frame and glass you know this thing they sell with pictures mm-hmm. inside mm-hmm. i removed the picture mm-hmm. i did that thing on a cardboard mm-hmm. and and i framed it in mm-hmm. and i hung it Euro. in my room mm-hmm. and I, for some reason i just said this is the gift that my father gave you so let me cherish it mm-hmm. i did that and i, and I placed it there. far away from home that was the first time I was actually living home. <laughs> then, of course, we had dreams. And then I remember then all I wanted to do was graduate mm. as an engineer and then become a politician. politician. That was my dream mm. for life. Then. And then in school, then joined politics. I was so excited. Everything looked so good. Everything looked so clear until I contested an election and lost. That was, that was, I, I lost miraculously. <laughs> Very funny, but that's, that was the truth. I lost miraculously because everybody felt, not just felt, knew no, that I was going to win, to win that election. And I lost. Wow. Now, at that point, I, I, I felt terrible. In fact, that was the first time in my life I felt this thing called the spirit of bad luck. Wow. So because, because truly, this my loss is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not normal. <laughs> I knew it wasn't normal. <clears throat> Truly, it wasn't. And that's, that's why you say it was miraculous. It was, that's why it was a miraculous. So, so, the only thing I knew to do there, because what was coming to my mind was spirit of bad luck. <laughs> it was, that, that's the only way to explain it there. Because I don't understand. I've done everything right. Mm-hmm. And then it's like somebody just changed my destiny. How? So I said, listen, listen, I have a great future ahead of me. If there's anything like spirit of let us deal with it now. Did you do that? No, I, I didn't know how to do this <laughs> prayers. <laughs> no, I, I, I think the only prayer I need to do was to, I, truly, I took out some days to fast. It was pray. really deep. And I said, Lord, yeah. you've got to help me. Yeah. If there's anything wrong with me. Anywhere. Let's deal with it now. now. And that was the first time I heard the voice of God audibly. On your, okay. I mean, so audibly, like... You started looking for it. Who, who spoke to me? And what did I hear God say? I have not called you to do politics. politics. I have called you to teach my, my word. word. Hallelujah. And that was the first time I would say I heard God. Mm. That was my first encounter mm. with God. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Now, I had left home, far away from home. Mm. But you see, and, and, and sincere, of course, I have my own work with the Lord now, mm-hmm. but we can't take it for granted mm-hmm. that it, the faithfulness... Now, my dad wasn't it calling started from home. Because there was no phone, you mm-hmm. know, to say, let him be calling me every day. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> but God somehow honored my parents yeah. by keeping me in yeah. check. Yeah. And that's what happened to Jacob. Yeah. He left home. He could have been anything. Mm-hmm. But God arrested him there. Now, it's amazing. If, if God had arrested him in the house, we we'll say, hey, this is a house of, yeah. this is godly people's house. 
But he never had any encounter with God. There's no record. And how do I know that was his first? Because there was an introduction. Yeah. I am Amen. the one who's talking. I am. Amen. Now, if he had met God, if he had known God, God wouldn't come and say, I like am. That. Yes, yes. So I, I saw that in scriptures and I thought to myself, I said, wow, Lord, I'm going to walk with you faithfully. Of course, I'm going to command my children. But then I know every one of them, you will visit them and you will teach them your ways. Now, while, while we're sharing this, because sometimes we have godly parents who they are doing their best mm. but then they, they they live with fear in their, in their hearts, hearts yes concerning their children yes now especially when you begin to see children act contrary, in, contrary to you know, what you've been teaching them don't forget this now first and foremost like you said earlier make sure your marriage is godly mm. Make sure you the man you get got married to, or you're getting married to, or the woman you're getting married to is godly. Is godly. Mm. How do you know they are godly? Must they be spiritual? No, no, no. Let the Lord guide you. Yeah. Did the Lord say marry this person? Mm. Can you put a pointer mm. that there is a God factor, factor. involved in, in your choice yeah. as this person? Yeah. Their the person may be all out mm. a preacher evangelist a, a true or not but you know this, this decision man refers god this mm. decision i have mm. taken mm. came from the, the lord yeah you understand so yeah. so now you know that haven't known that then encourage yourselves to walk in integrity before the, the Lord. Lord. And what does it mean to walk in integrity before the Lord? Believe his word. That what he has said, Same. he has the ability to, to bring it. it to pass. Yeah. And that's all we've been doing in yeah. our lives. Yeah. In our finances, mm. in every decision we've taken. Even in our relationship as yes, husband Of and course, wife. yeah. You know, but that's the truth. Yeah. You know, I've always told you this. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't love you because you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're beautiful. Yeah. I don't love you because of the good things, the character, mm. and everything that you do. Those things are wonderful. Mm. The basis of my love for you is the word of the, the Lord, Lord that I've come to my heart God where you are concerned. Yeah. So as long as the word of God is there, which of course it will never end. Praise <laughs> God. As long as God is alive, the love in my heart is alive for you. <laughs> no no that's the truth and that's the same confidence that i have where you are concerned mm -hmm. towards me. Mm -hmm. now so our love is not according to what we feel nothing physical no and that's how god has commanded us to love mm -hmm. oh, but, it's, but it's your wife is your now when i remember when we were, get, when we were getting married mm -hmm. And I was thinking all these thoughts in my heart. And yeah. I was like, Lord. Because then, you know, I had this fear. You know how you just think that, ah, uh, your wife, you're supposed to be, you know, attracted to your wife in a certain mm. way. Before you even approach yes, her, kind yes. of. You know, so I, I somehow was... thought to myself, like, uh, do I, do I, can I really say I have that? Sincerely, you know. So I began to pray. I said, Lord, I don't want to get to this point where I will, will have to cheat on my wife because she's just my wife. Her, and, yeah. You know? I'm not excited. Yeah. yeah. And then the Lord taught me something. See, Jesus said the Holy Spirit will teach you all, all things, things and guide you what has he taught into all you? truth. Because our time is up today. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, there are many hearts having great expectation. Mm. Everyone watching right now, believing God for one thing or the other, it's time to release your faith. Amen. Lord, 
he will visit them today. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That which they have expected of you, let them receive it today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.